I'm Brick Road. This is Let's Play P Green Mega Man 5. I just beat Neptune and got the salt water. Now we're gonna take on Mars. I tried going to Mars in the first video and got demolished by the level because it was pretty difficult. But let's see if I can fare better now. Uh, the other three levels I did were not that bad, actually. I got through them pretty easily. I mean, there's lots of crazy gimmicks and stuff, but did not have that bad of a time, to be completely honest. Oh yeah, this guy. Jump over you. Aha, yeah, the clobber arm made you pretty easy there, buddy. And you died in one shot. Oh yeah, bananas. I forgot about the bananas already. It was like an hour ago, maybe, that I... You're not gonna come up to... Oh, you erg! I sat there waiting for it to come up, and I said, okay, it's probably not going to come up until I go to jump on it, then I jumped on it, and threw me into the spikes, because it sucks. You know what? Whatever, dude. If you're going to cheat, if that's the only way you can beat me in the game, is by cheating, I have no respect for you. Classy. Alright. So, I mentioned in another earlier in the video that the only Game Boy Mega Man game I had played was Mega Man 2, and that was actually going to be my first choice for uh, Let's Play Game Boy Mega Man game, but you know what? That one has monsters, it has bad guys from the NES Mega Man games. In fact, all the Game Boy Mega Man games are just kind of rehashes, except for Mega Man 5. It's the only one that has new bosses and stuff. So that's why I kind of picked this one over the others. And now that I've got a rush coil, I can jump up there and get all the good stuff. The Mega Pill. Mega Pill! Sweet. Well done. Lots of pills in this level. I will take all these pills. That's right. That was probably the most useless rush coil ever. Alright. Nice. I figured out a good way to hit these guys, other than to just kind of rapid fire and hope for the best, you know? And you can't... Oh, you can't shoot when your grabby arm is out. It's really obnoxious. I do not... Guys, I do not see the grabbo arm at all to be an improvement on the Mega Buster. The Mega Buster is superior, so... Yeah. Mega Man 5... I am not endeared to the grabo arm. And I'm not going to call it the mega arm because that's dumb. That's not what it is. It's the grabo arm and... Okay, I couldn't... Ugh! That was lame. It bounced off of there. Although it's kind of impressive actually because usually moving objects in 2D platformers like this, they're not solid in the game world. Oh, why did I take so many hits? <laughs> But yeah, usually they're made out of sprites, which means they're not really solid. Things don't collide with them. They can, you can shoot and jump through them, even if you can't shoot and jump through other things in the game. So it's kind of impressive that those balls were bouncing off of those moving platforms. How many E-Tanks can I carry? Because if it's only four, I almost got another one there, right? I wonder what happens if I pick up a full E-Tank. What happens to my three bits and pieces there? Oh yeah, I forgot about those things. Yeah, rapid fire beats grab a arm. I'm, you know what? I guess that they, they were just trying to do new stuff with this game, and they wanted to see new bosses and a new weapon. You know, I can kind of see why, but in the end, that's an experiment that I don't think panned out. I tried to switch over to my rush coil and fill that up, but it didn't work for me. Throw banana, come on. Yeah, this clobber arm is like, it only works on half the enemies in the game, so... Yeah... Kind of a dumb little look down there. Whatever. Man, I'm like a really complaining mood for some reason. I don't know why, I shouldn't be complaining, I'm playing Mega Man. Come on, Brick Road, get with it. Buddy. Complaining about Mega Man over here. And up top there is an energy tank. Let's find out, because that's an energy tank up there, and I've got... Uh-oh. 
Uh, I don't know if I got hit or if I got knocked back into the spikes, but either way, that sucks. I gotta replay this level. Oh, I guess I better do it fast. No, not stage select, retard. <sighs> Welcome to Let's Play, P Green Mega Man 3. I'm Brooker. This is Mars's stage. The first half of this video did not happen. You imagined it. I don't know what's wrong with you, why you're hallucinating Let's Play videos on YouTube, but you are because you're crazy. You probably need to uh, get that checked because, you know what, it's, you'll never find a wife like that, you know what I mean? That's seeing things that aren't there, that's nuts. I mean, just, you know, stop talking about it. You're kind of depressing everybody with that nonsense. And, Okay, so we have monkeys that throw little robotic bananas at you and damage you. That is the second dumbest thing. The second dumbest monster I've seen in Mega Man. In Mega Man 6, in Centaur Man's level, you have pelican monsters that fly overhead and drop dead fish on you. And they're very obviously robotic pelicans, and they're very obviously robotic dead fish. So, and you probably don't think much of this. I mean, it's a Mega Man game, you know, you're not supposed to read too much into it, but I do read too much into it because I'm a nerd and I read too much into stuff like that. And I did that last time I was here. No, I didn't, because that didn't happen, because the first half of this video was a hallucination on your part. But anyway, the mental image of Dr. Wily, like, laboring in a workspace, creating little dead fish to fight Mega Man, is, like, one of the nicest mental images probably imaginable in a video game. I just get such a big kick out of those dead fish. They're hilarious. They make no sense for there to be a dead fish there. But you know what? Wily is off his rocker. Officially off his rocker. And I realize he probably doesn't build everything in his lab himself. He's always like robotic drones. But that means at some point in Wily's lab, if he doesn't build a little robotic dead fish in Centaur Man's level by himself, that means he's got something like a blueprint for a robotic dead fish uh, factory, or, you know, a machine that makes robotic dead fish, which is even sadder if you think about it. So, that guy gave me a lot of trouble last time. Hey, look, that came back. Oh, it came back because I lost all my lives. Well, you know what? Rush there we go. Uh, right now, I wanted to... Right now I've got three energy tanks and then like three fourths of energy tanks. Let's see what this does if I grab this. Just out of curiosity. Okay, those, so the three fourths that I grabbed went away and yeah, I was kind of wondering if that would happen. And then there's life over here. Life, life, life. <laughs> oh! And then I almost died on the spikes. I better pick it up. I don't want to have to break Mars Man's level into two different videos. Even though I, you know, have a lot of time since the first half of this video didn't happen. I mean, it's not like I'm pressed for time. It says eight minutes, but really it's like three, four minutes, maybe. That's right, I shot you, monkey dude. But yeah, I guess now this means I have to picture a world where Wily has both a dead fish replicator and a banana bomb replicator. They're not really banana bombs, just like regular bananas. They're not even, they don't explode, they just hate you. I wonder if they're like real bananas, or... Who knows. Uh, I hope I'm pretty close to the boss. I don't need that energy tank anymore. I'm surprised at how much animation this game has on the screen. Just like in the background scenery, that's uh... Like, I know the Game Boy is kind of a cool, powerful little machine for what it is, but considering it was designed to play crap like Tetris and Super Mario Land, but I, I'm very happy with these graphics. They're very cool. I mean, it looks just like a Mega Man, like a real Mega Man game. So, and that's kind of the Game Boy's reputation, isn't it? That, like, it gets ports of the good games, like it gets a version of Mario, but not really a Mario game, and... I think Metroid is probably the only series that really has a real sequel. And not a very good one at that, but... Alright, we should hope I'm coming up on the boss here. It's like a long level, man. Pill! Yeah, there's the boss door. Alright, I didn't get this far last time I was in this level, so... 
And you know what? That is the 10 minute mark. We'll fight Mars in the next video, as much as I am loath to do it. See you here.